All right, you guys, so we have officially broke ground on the new house. That is the drain field. And over there in that back corner is our new pond. How did all this happen? Let me show you. He's using this laser to set the forms at exactly the right height all the way around. My dad's using the bobcat to dig the footers of the house. The footers are the base of the foundation. If you don't build the foundation perfect, the house will never be perfect. Ever since I was a little kid, that's what my dad has done, is dig footers and build foundations on homes. As a dad, he built a really great foundation on our family. All right, you guys, so once they lay out all those form boards and get them set to the right level, and they know the level based on the laser, then my dad and my brother, they'll come in with their backhoes and they will dig what's called the plumbing rough. See, I know when you walk into your house and you turn on a faucet or whatnot, water comes out, but all of those pipes, all of that plumbing is ran underneath your home. And so Jet Plumbing came in and did all the underground plumbing, all that pipe work. So like with the hot water, everything seems looped together. What's that all about? Yep, this is what we call a recirculation system. So basically you're gonna have a pump on your water heater and it's gonna continuously move hot water throughout the home. So when you open the faucet and ask it for hot water, it's there and you're not waiting 30 seconds, two minutes for water. As you guys know, I've constantly got people staying at my home. The way we set this house up in a split floor plan is so that when you come to my home, typically we're always in a rush. We're going from one thing to the next. So I want to run in, jump in my shower or bathtub. The girls get in theirs, guests get in theirs. If all three showers are running at the same time, will we have hot water? You'll have plenty of hot water. We're putting in a tankless water heater, Renai tankless. Obviously, I've grown up very blessed in my life. I've had a lot of incredible opportunities, starting with a great family. But one thing I've never had is the ability for everybody in the house to take a hot shower at the same time. We're about to have that. Not only does the plumbing run under the slab, but so does a lot of the electric. I've got a guy by the name of Carl Spear Jr. It's so exciting to me to be standing where the concrete, where the foundation of our house is gonna be. And a lot of the electricity will be ran through the attic, but some of it has to be ran underneath the ground. Bud actually did all the electric work on our old house back in 1988. And uh, it's cool to see my dad putting together his whole team of professionals to build our home. One of the really exciting parts about building our dream home is getting to know all the subcontractors, getting to know all of the workers, hanging out and hearing their stories and watching them do what they do as a profession. It's, uh, it's super exciting. Once they were done laying all the underground plumbing, then my dad's company and the shell company came in, leveled it all out and got it ready for concrete. And I don't pretend to be a construction worker. I've never, Man, I can't hardly even hit a hammer straight, but uh, I do have a vision of what I want that house to be. Sarah designed the whole thing, and to see all these professionals working on our home with a common goal, it's just beyond exciting. And I'm stoked that you're being a part of it as well. What these guys are doing right now is a key to making a good house. You've got to have a solid foundation. Everything has to be perfect. You can see these deep areas that they're digging. These are called footers. And that's where there will be more concrete. That's going to be areas of the foundation that really withstand the load of the house. This is the pad where my tub will be. Um, come around here. We're going to have four columns out here. These deep footers here are where columns are going to go. And so actually right now I'm standing in the, in the back porch and I can only imagine all the, the great times we're going to have as a family sitting out here on this porch, just hanging out and coming up with new ideas to make awesome videos.
Here in the south, we have what's called a subterranean termite. It's a termite that lives in the ground and they are highly destructive. They eat wood. So Bates Exterminating, that's a company that I've, I've known Bob Bates for many, many years. Wonderful man, has an awesome, awesome wife named Melanie and two cool kids, Mike and Melissa. The reason they're spraying it now is you need to have that chemical barrier underneath the foundation of the home so that at no point can you get the subterranean termites coming up through the slab into the interior of your home. Once they have all the pre-treat for the termites done and all the preliminary work done, they'll go in and they'll lay this wire out at a certain distance off the, off the ground so that when the concrete is poured, this acts as just a, I don't know, acts as, I don't know what it acts as. Now the guys are gonna lay down visqueen. This is a type of plastic. And the visqueen will create a moisture barrier. Well, it is March 6th, 2019, and we're talking about a very special day. That big truck over there is called a pump truck, a concrete pump truck. A lot of work has gone into getting this prepped. I'm just telling you, a home is no different than the family. You've got to have a solid foundation. Build that solid foundation, no matter how big the storm is that blows up, you know you're built on a solid foundation, built on a rock. He's using that machine as a vibrator. When he vibrates it, it makes all the concrete sit down. That's, what, that's the way you get all the air pockets out. All right, you guys, so this is the man with the plan. This is Mike with Big Johnson Concrete Pumping. How much does that truck cost? 800,000 brand new. What? 800 grand for a truck. But you know what? Without that truck, we don't get it done. And what are you doing right now? Primarily my job is to place the concrete where they want me to and safely. You know, I place the pump in a position where the trucks can pull into it, into it, where the trucks can get out and wash out so that the job can keep moving. And then other than that, I, I watch the finishers. They point the hose and I put the concrete where they want me to put it. That's it. That's awesome. My first time, not too bad, right? <laughs> Kind of overwhelming thinking that this is our home we're building. The foundation is almost done. They're gonna pour this last little area, finish it, and then tomorrow they're gonna come out here and strip all the form board. But what they don't know is I'm going out to go hog hunting right now, kill some fresh hog meat, and we're gonna have a big barbecue tomorrow. Unbelievable, man. I'm so honored to have all these people working on our home. All right, you guys, so check this out. It seems like just yesterday we, we started digging the, the footers and pouring the slab and now I leave for two days, come back and they've already got blocks going up. It's so cool to think like, this is gonna be our big shower where we walk in, there'll be a big like rain shower here and another one coming off the wall. And then when we walk in, this is gonna be a huge whirlpool tub. And the reason the tub is on the inside of the shower because every time I take a, a bath, I always get the floor wet. Well, guess what? Now, whenever I get the floor wet, I'm just getting the shower wet. So I come into the shower, get in my tub, take a nice relaxing bath with bubbles, in case you're wondering, get out, dry off, or I get out, rinse off in the shower, dry off, and then I'm ready for my day. We're ready for bed. So stoked. I want to say thank you so much to all the subcontractors 
that have already been a part of this build. I want to say thank you so much to my dad for pouring his heart and soul into this property and just doing such a great job for us. Gabriel, my little brother, you rock, bro. Thank you so much for all your help. What are you digging right here? Your footers for the foundation. There will be a list of all the subcontractors that we're using in the description below. But uh, I left for three days, I come back, and they're already putting block up. The slab is perfect, and our dream is coming to life. The next video, we're gonna show the finishing of the block, the trusses going on, the roof coming on, and uh, just step by step, you're gonna see this. And I know these videos aren't gonna get a ton of views, but what they are is they're a remembrance. They're a memory of us building our dream home. And if you're one of the people who watched this video, I wanna say thank you. You're a huge, huge source of encouragement and support for us. For that, I say thank you. But that's all I got for you today. Take care, God bless. We are gone.